Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today uh, we'll be looking at uh, Podman secrets. Okay, so every application will have some kind of secrets that they want to maintain uh, in such a way that they are not getting packaged into the uh, container image but still uh, they will be utilized okay so let's say uh, if you are going to launch a uh, apache instance uh, like the ihs instance or stpd instance uh, uh, in a secure way uh, we will be we will be utilizing a certificate file and a key file uh, to actually uh, like um, secure our instance so these uh, certificate file and key file uh, which are actually uh, like uh, like secret contents uh, we do not want them to be loaded into the uh, like uh, packaged into the container image okay so how we can uh, utilize these uh, secrets or uh, key store files or certificate files or uh, any uh, text file with some passwords how we can load them into the container uh, when it is executing uh, that's what we will be uh, seeing in this video okay so let me go into my documentation so this is a documentation that we are going to uh, basically uh, uh, like go to, uh, follow so you can see uh, like there is a mounts.conf file here okay so mounts.conf file is the one that will help us uh, manage our secrets within the container okay so what it exactly does is uh, it takes the host uh, machines uh, file system or directory and it loads that into the uh, container uh, when it is running okay so basically we can put our secrets onto the host machine and we can load them into the container when the container is in a running state so that is the main purpose of uh, using the mounts.conf file. Okay, uh, right now I am using uh, Podman in uh, non-root user. So I have edited uh, the content uh, in the etc containers mount.conf file. Okay, so let me show you this file. So here you can see, like I have created a home home admin secrets uh, directory uh, in my host machine, and I am uh, mapping that into uh, runs run secrets uh, directory within the container. Okay, so let me show you what is available in the home admin secrets directory. So you can see there is a secrets file available here. So, which is uh, some kind of uh, secret file uh, having some passwords or some string which we want to make sure it doesn't get uh, packaged into the container. Okay. So, let me uh, add this uh, secrets file also. So, it is some garbage uh, uh, content that we have uh, like uh, stored uh, which is a, uh, some kind of secret that we want to maintain. Okay. So right now uh, we have our uh, uh, secret file created. So next uh, thing uh, that we want to see is uh, like, anyways, like my Podman uh, is already installed. So let me show you that one. So I have my Podman uh, version 2.2.1 is already installed. So once the secret is available uh, like on the host machine so we want to see how we can load that into the running container okay so here i'm going to going to use the busybox container and launch it okay okay uh, let me see if there is any content already available so i'll delete it okay so there is nothing running right now or available so we can uh, try to launch our busybox container with the name secret container okay this one and 
let's try to attach into the shell of the container okay so i'll do bin slash sh so this is going to launch our container and right now we are within the container okay so let me try to see if we have that secret available within the container now okay you can see the secret is available within the container so when we launch the container the secret has been loaded from the host machine into the uh, the container runtime instance okay so let me uh, now get out of this container or shut down this container okay so now my container is shut down so now what we uh, want to see is uh, we will try to uh, check the containers file system or image layer to see if the container is actually having any secrets file available within the image layer okay so as i said it should ideally not have that secrets file available within the image layer okay so for for that uh, right now i am running with non root user so i need to uh, switch into the namespace of the user with which the, i am running the podman so for that i need to run podman and share so unshare basically means you and you can uh, spell it as uh, user namespace share okay so let me run it so you, you see uh, my uh, prompt has changed to root so right now i am in the user namespace uh, of the user uh, with which i am running the podman okay so here uh, let's try to uh, uh, mount uh, like check the non point of the container uh, which we have created in my previous step so let me get the, uh, the non point of my container okay you can see uh, this is the basically the mount uh, from which the container file system is getting loaded okay so let's try to ls on to this so this is where the file system content is available which is loaded into the container when it is executed so you can see there is a run folder here okay so let's try to get into that and in that we have uh, the secrets folder that we have mapped but if you try to check here the content uh, it is not it is not going to have the secrets file uh, that we have kept in the host machine okay so you can see there is no secrets file available here but if you go and check on the host machine uh, okay but uh, for checking on the host machine you need to get out of this uh, session so so that is uh, that, uh, because we are right now uh, in the uh, user namespace of the podman user with which we are running that okay so you can see uh, like we have launched the container and we have verified that within the container uh, the secret uh, file uh, that we have created on the host machine is available when the container is launched then we validated uh, the image uh, uh, the image layer of that secret container to verify that uh, whether that secret file is available within the image layer or not so it has uh, it is not available uh, when the counter is not running okay so that is the one thing that i wanted to show so let me get out of uh, this one so you can see like home admin secrets the file is available but uh, if you go into the file system of the container uh, if it is not running it is not going to store it in the container file system okay so that is one difference i wanted to show you there is one more thing uh, uh, that you uh, uh, that will be beneficial for you to understand like how it is different from podman volumes okay
Okay, let me do pod van volume help. Okay, so basically, pod van volume is used to uh, preserve the persistent data of the container onto the host machine. Okay, so basically, uh, if you are launching a container. Uh, you might be creating some data uh, which you want to store or preserve so that when uh, that container is destroyed and another a new container is launched uh, it can use the data which was already uh, like persisted and continue from there so that is the main purpose of pers uh, podman volumes wherein we uh, create the persistent data uh, from the containers and store it onto the host machine. But in case of uh, like uh, mounts, uh, like managing secrets, we are uh, like loading the content from the host machine into the container uh, when it is running. So that is one more difference uh, that you can take a note of. Uh, so that's the difference between uh, the volumes and the mounts which we create for secrets. Okay, so that is all uh, I wanted to show you uh, in this uh, video. Uh, so I hope you learn something uh, in this video, like how to manage secrets uh, uh, using Podman uh, within the container. And you can try out uh, this with uh, some other images uh, like uh, uh, the Apache or Tomcat instances and try to load your uh, like key store files like certificates or key file from the host machine and uh, use it within the container without actually storing them uh, in the container image. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that is all from my end. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a good day.